Good day everyone! Welcome to another day of learning. This is Teacher Marlene and now the focus of our discussion is about direct square variation or in general the n power variation. This variation is described as follows. It relates one variable to a power of another variable. It is also stated in general form that the variable varies directly as the n power and written in the symbol y is equal to kx raised to n. In this specific form, this is stated that y varies directly as the square of x. In symbols, y is equal to kx squared. Let us have the following illustration. The area of a circle varies directly as the square of the length of the radius. What is the area of a circle whose radius is 5 cm or 10 cm? Let us look at the table. If the length of the radius is 1 unit, the area is pi. If the radius is 2, the area is 4 pi. And the radius is 3, the area is 9 pi. So observe that the area is obtained by squaring the length of the radius and multiplied to pi. Now what is the area if the radius is 5? Can you guess? The square of 5 is 25 times pi, so the area is 25 pi. How about the area if the radius is 10? Yes, it is 100 pi. So in general, the area is equal to pi r square. If the radius is to determine, r is equal to the square root of a over pi. And the constant, which is k, is equal to pi, obtained when the area is divided by the square of radius. Now, before solving problems, let us translate verbal phrases to mathematical symbols. Remember, direct variation denotes multiplication of constant to other variable. For example, p varies directly as the square of q. So in symbols, p is equal to k times q square. Now try this. The area of a square varies directly as the square of a side. Using A as area and S for the side of a square, the symbol will be A is equal to KS squared. Let us look at this. The distance required for an automobile to stop is directly proportional to the square of its velocity. Here, the distance is represented by d, and the velocity is represented by v. So the symbols will be d is equal to k v square. Now, if you master the process of translating verbal phrases to symbols, you can now solve problems. Let us look at the following problems. If y varies directly as the square of x, and y is equal to 36 when x is equal to 3, find the constant of variation or k. Let us translate the statement y varies directly as the square of x into symbol. It is y is equal to kx squared. Then let us substitute y is equal to 36 when x is equal to 3. So it will be 
36 is equal to k times 3 square. Simplify 3 squared so it will be 9. Let us divide both sides by 9. We can cancel 9 so that we can get k. And then 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. So the constant of variation is 4. Let us study the next example. If P varies directly as the square of Q and P is equal to 3 when Q is equal to 3, find P when Q is equal to 5. Let us transform P varies directly as the square of Q. So P is equal to KQ squared. Now, let us substitute P is equal to 3 and Q is equal to 3. So, it will be P is equal to K times 3 squared. Let us simplify 3 squared which is 9. And then, divide both sides by 9. We can cancel 9 so that we can get K. And then 3 over 9 in simplest form is 1 third. So the equation is P is equal to 1 third Q squared by substituting the value of K. Now let us find P when Q is equal to 5. Let us substitute 5 for Q. The square of 5 is 25 times one-third, so P is equal to 25 over 3. Now, let us have more examples. Suppose Y varies directly as the square of X, and Y is equal to 4 when X is equal to 3. What is x when y is 16? Let us change y varies directly as the square of x into symbols. So y is equal to kx squared. Substitute y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 3. So it will be 4 is equal to k times the square of 3. And the square of 3 is 9. Then divide both sides by 9. And cancel 9 so we can get k as 4 over 9. So our equation is y is equal to 4 over 9 times x squared. We can now solve for x when y is 16. Eliminate 4 over 9, multiply both sides by the reciprocal which is 9 over 4. So divide 16 by 4, so the result is 4. On the other side, 9 over 9 is 1. 4 over 4 is also 1. So the resulting equation is x squared is equal to 36 by multiplying 9 times 4. Then to get x, get the square root of both sides. So x is positive or negative 6. Now let us study this problem. The surface area of a sphere varies directly as the square of radius. If the surface area is 16 pi when the radius is 2, find the surface area when the radius is 5. 
and find the radius when the surface area is 48 pi. Let us transform the statement the surface area of a sphere varies directly as the square of the radius. So into symbol, let us use SA for the surface area and R for the radius. Now use the statement, surface area is 16 pi when R is equal to 2. So in finding the constant, let us substitute 16 pi for SA and 2 for the radius. The square of 2 is 4. Now let us divide both sides by 4. So cancel 4. We will get K and divide 16 pi over 4. So we will get K is equal to 4 pi. This is the constant of variation. Now our equation is SA is equal to 4 pi r squared. Now let us answer the first required. Find the surface area when the radius is 5. Let us substitute in the equation. So SA is equal to 4 pi times the square of 5. The square of 5 is 25 times 4 pi. So SA is equal to 100 pi. This is the answer in our first required. Now let us answer the next required which is to find the radius when the surface area is 48 pi. Substitute the surface area as 48 pi. Then let us divide both sides by 4 pi. So we can cancel 4 pi, get r squared. And 48 pi over 4 pi is equal to 12. So r squared is equal to 12. 12 can be factored as 4 times 3. We will get the square root of both sides. So r is equal to 2 times the square root of 3. This is the length of the radius. Well, I hope you learned from my discussions. Just put your comments or clarification for the topic. I am very much willing to answer and clarify it. Happy learning!